welcome to the lecture number 13 that is common exceptions in the Serenum web travel in java course in this lecture you will learn how to manage these exceptions like how to avoid these exceptions actually so most common exception that you might, might encounter is this one no such element exceptions so this exception comes when the element is not found by the selenium so to avoid this what you have to do is make sure that the element is actually available on the web page and then maybe tweak the xpath or css or uh, make sure that you are the if you are using the id that id attribute or uh, is actually correct and then you this element exception might get resolved the next exception is uh, element is not clickable this exception occurs in uh, especially in the selenium web driver especially in selenium web driver and uh, to resolve that what you have to do is make sure that you are using the correct element that on which you want to click or you can also use the javascript executor that we will be covering in the next lecture but javascript executor is very useful to resolve that particular kind of exception then stale element reference exception this exception comes when the element is stale uh, not on the loaded in the dom of the web page so what happens is uh, when you uh, access the like uh, find the element using selenium on the web page and store it in some variable and meanwhile if the same element gets refreshed in the web page what happens is when you try to access that element in the dom it says that the element is stale so to before accessing this stale elements uh, what you have to do is or to get rid of this stale element reference exception you need to make sure that element is in a proper state or it is not stale using the expected conditions which we have covered in the explicit uh, weight conditions that we have seen in the synchronization lecture and element not visible so next exception is this one so this exception comes when the element is available in the web page but it is not visible so if the element is hidden and if you try to click on that or say perform any other operation what it will do is it will throw this exception so all the methods that selenium performs that will only work when the elements are visible otherwise this exception will be thrown then element not interactable similarly to the you know this one not visible exception this not interactable exception comes when the element is still loading or in the not completely loaded and then if you try to perform the operation on it this exception will come element not interactable so to avoid this exception again you need to use those web driver wait conditions that we have covered in earlier lectures no such frame no such window these exceptions come when there are no frames or no windows that we have specified for example here let us say you are trying to switch to the frame driver dot switch to the frame say xyz whatever and since we know that this frame is doesn't exist in that page this is gonna throw the exception saying that no such frame exists and similarly if you try to switch to the window which doesn't exist uh, with that handle then that exception will come so as you can see this no such a frame exception has already come over there no such frame exception so make sure that the frame uh, to which you want to switch is actually exist to order that exception similarly no such window exception can be handled invalid selector exception this might occur when you are trying to use invalid selector for example here i'm trying to identify the element using xpath but that xpath expression is itself not valid remember that xpath expression start with the double forward slashes since the, that is not there it is saying that invalid uh, css uh, selector or invalid selector exception so if we execute this one let me close the existing browsers first of all and run it as you can see in the background the exception is occurred and it is saying that invalid selector exception this is not a valid expert expression so that's when the expert uh, that exp exception comes so make sure that you are using correct expert uh, or other css and uh, finally we have got invalid element state exception this occurs when you are trying to click on the element which is disable state or uh, trying to perform the just weird operations like that so to handle 
or uh, to avoid those exceptions make sure that you are trying to perform the valid operation for example you cannot enter the value in the read only text box or you cannot click on the disable element like that so make sure that you are performing the valid operation so that ends our uh, let's check uh, lecture number 13 that is common exceptions and in this lecture we have seen all these exceptions and how to handle these exceptions in server and web driver I hope you enjoyed this lecture and stay tuned for more lectures on the Selenium web driver in Java. Thank you.